Hi there, my name is Kunneberg and welcome to my channel. This is another film review. Uh, this one is called Inside the Spider's Web. It's a TV movie. Um, it's a sci well, Amazon have it down as a sci-fi, suspense, comedy, horror, action, adventure. Horror, yes. Suspense, yeah. Maybe adventure, I don't know, but pff, not comedy and definitely not sci-fi. Um, came out in 2007, it's rated 16 plus. Um, Amazon, well, the, it's an hour and 28 minutes. Amazon rating is 3 out of 5, IMDb is 3.6 out of 10. Uh, the Amazon synopsis is Backpacking in the jungles of India, a team of hikers stumble upon the primitive village of Kani Mata, home to native cult of spider worshippers, and Dr. Le Corpus. An American physician who proves just as formidable a fear as the venomous arachnids. When the hikers discover that they're to be sacrificed, their battle to survive becomes one of man against man and man against nature. So the uh, director is Terry Windsor, W I N S O R, and he directed Essex Boys. It's a British film, if ever you've seen it, great. If not, watch it. Although I prefer The Rise of the Foot Soldier myself. Um, the producers, there's two of them, uh, Susida, S-U-S-I-D-A, Mafwang, I assume that's how you say, M-A-P-H-U-A-N-G, who also produced The Hive. I've reviewed The Hive before, that was quite enjoyable. Um, and also uh, Charles Salmon, Salmon, S-A-L-M-O-N, who uh, produced The Railway Man. Uh, music, there's two of them again. There's Charles Olins, O-L-I-N-S, who did All About Steve, and Mark Ryder, who did uh, Nightwish. Now the cast, again, I've tried to pick the ones that, you know, were kind of there. Lance Henriksen, who was Dr. Le Corpus, and he was in Aliens. I mean, if you've seen Aliens, then you'll know who he is. He's, he's the um, android, I think it is. Or the, you know, the, 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 you know, gets his body chopped up. Um, sorry, I was just giving the, the film away there. In, in, in the aliens, I mean, not this film. Uh, Cian Berry, I assume that, or Chan, I don't know how you say it. C I A N Barry, who was John, and he was in Nina Forever. Michael Smiley, who was Phil, who was in Kill List. Lisa Livingston, who was Stacy, and she was in Run. And Emma Catherwood, C A T H E R W O D, who was Gina, and she was in Against the Dark. Now, it was filmed in Krabi in Thailand. There's a lot of the films that I reviewed, all the, well, let's call them low budget films, I don't know what you want to call them, the ones that always have low ratings, a lot of them are filmed in Thailand. I mean, our first, what, Blood Monkey, Man Eater, I think, um, Croc. Um, Hive. I mean, they're all filmed there. It's bizarre. I mean, you would say why? Because everyone thinks America, but <laughs> I'm guessing it's the uh, tax. It's one of the things. Okay, so obviously it's to do with spiders. So if you don't like spiders, don't bother watching this film. Uh, because straight away the credits rolling up and there's spiders all over the place. You know, there's little ones, big ones, tarantulas, all sorts of spiders. I, don't, I can't name them because I haven't got a clue what they are. Um, and then we, as we're going through the credits, we end up seeing somebody had been cut open. It's a bit of a you know a corny way of being cut open, and then we transport to the forest. So it's like boom, we're there. Um, so as I say, it's a TV movie, so don't expect sort of special effects from you know, but you know top budget sort of stuff because it's his TV movie. There's a reason behind that. Um, but the, this butterfly was floating by. Right, and we got caught in a web, and it was so obvious it was CGI, because they're like, oh, look at this butterfly, and I, th I was looking at it thinking, oh, come on, that could just be a piece of paper. Um, now, the, the, obviously, because the spiders, you're trying to see it from their point of view, very rarely, but in this one, you did, and so you kind of watch the spider descending off this large web. It's kind of like POV, so it's aiming down, so you can see him looking down, not in the eyes, so the film that I reviewed... Um, Oh my god, I've forgotten the name of the film. Uh, there was a, a, a spider, I'll find the name of it, it's bugging me now. Um, 
it's it's just literally you can just see the image and that's it. Um, bear with me, I'm trying to figure out what it is. Um, it's bugging me, so that's why I want to know what ice spiders. Uh, that was all POV, but through about like three sets of eyeballs. But this isn't. Um, and then we hear a scream. Let's see if you ever watch the old black and white films, you know the piercing scream that just shatters your eardrums. That. So that was screaming. I'm not going to explain why. You can probably figure it out. Spider scream, you know. Um, but obviously they're off to a um, they're off to a jungle, not a jungle. I would call it a village. The reason why is because obviously it's, it says at the very beginning somebody's been bitten by a poison spider. That's the scream. And it says ah screaming. It's just like my lord. Um, actually, it doesn't say that on there. On the um, on this <laughs> on the Amazon one, this, the IMDb one just says. Uh, when Geraldine is bitten by a poison spider, they seek an American doctor that lives in the jungle in a tribe. Well, they don't know he's an American doctor, that's the whole thing. Um, so, like I say, they're off to the village, and they're hacking their way through this forest. And the lad asks this guy, he says, I, I always find these weird quotes. He says, are you sure this is the way? So the guy says, as I've said before, I can never be say. Oh, sorry, uh, as I've said, I've never been, I can't say for certain. And the guy says, I could have really done with a yes there, man. Lie to me. <laughs> thought, yeah, yeah. It would have been better, wouldn't it? It's like, yeah, yeah, this is the way. As they fall off a cliff. Um, anyway, about, I think it's about 20 minutes in. I can't remember off the top of my head. It actually looked like we are outside. Uh, maybe even 25 minutes. There's a waterfall. So before all this, it, you could just kind of tell we're inside a studio. It's that kind of thing. You know what I mean? You're like... You can hear the echo. I mean, that's how bad it was. Um, for some bizarre reason, which you find out later why, but there's some dude walking around in the village that has his head covered with a spider's web. So it's like a tablecloth, so you can't see anything through it. So it's not like, um, uh, uh, you know, a transparent spider's web. It, it looks like a tablecloth, just dangling on his head, or a, you know, a tissue or something. Now the first killing. Uh, was by loads of spiders, which was pretty cool. They were screaming, you know. There was actual spiders on the face, and some CGI. Um, but there was some real spiders. Uh, it got smothered and everything. It was brilliant, actually. I enjoyed it. It was, it was, you know, it was good. That makes sense. Now, as I say, there's real spiders in the films. Some lovely tarantulas or large spiders. I have no idea what they are. They look nice and furry with the legs and stuff like that. Um, some different colours and stuff. So. You know, if you love spiders, hey ho. As opposed to watching, what was it? Is it arachnophobia, where there's one spider? I obviously get shit, scared crapless about one little spider or something, and then there's a huge one, you know, like Jaws. So th there's a ritual where the villagers are starting going, you know, chanting away. The spiders there. There's drums, the chanting again, the, the dancing. It was actually pretty intense. I was engrossed in it. I thought, this is cool. Enjoying this. Um, so, <laughs> they're, they're trying to find people, you know, and then, then they find a camcorder um, that uh, the Gina dropped. So we can we can all relive the attack, even though we've just seen it. We can all see them, their faces. Oh my God! Oh, oh, oh Gina. Um, like I say, I'm not going to give everything away because I tend not to. I'll just give you the little bits and bats that sort of jump out. But they're they're, they're in this cave, as it were. And they're trying to get out. And there's all these webs everywhere, and they're crossing this this web across this ravine. I think it's a ravine. I don't know. We never saw down. Um, and it, it was supposed to be like a bridge, you know, it's got a little bridge of webs, but you can see the rope. You know, it was a rope bridge, which is some sort of, it was kind of like, um, you know, when you go to Halloween and people drape loads of um, that white cotton stuff all over places, and you, you can just get s stuck on the side of your jumper when you walk past, and you're like, what the hell's this shit? It was like that. So, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Um, but one of them was still alive, right? So they all managed. To, I'm not going to give it completely away, but basically they uh, they managed to get out, and they, they left one guy there, and they said, "Don't worry, we'll come back for you." Um, 
you know, his face was, I think I've just said half of it anyway, but the, the face was a bit like, what the hell? Um, so anyway, they, they got out, and they were like wandering through the, through the jungle, and they, they found the army of, of all people. We know why it explains it there. I think uh, Phil was there, it was uh, Michael Smiley. Um, so, it's, so the army's turned up. They're like, how are you? Are you okay? Like, oh yeah, 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 we're fine. So did you find, I think, Geraldine? Says, oh yeah, we'll we explain about Geraldine. It's like, oh my God, and what about, um, I think there was the, the, the guide that we explained about the guide. Oh God, yeah, yeah. And, and you're all okay? He says, oh yeah, well, and they're hugging each other and all that. And then all of a sudden, somebody says, well, where's the guy's name? And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, he's still in the cave. It's like, uh, Okay, <laughs> don't worry about him, you know, it's okay, no, or blasé or sorts, it doesn't really matter, he's, he's in the cave, who cares? <laughs> we'll get him later on. So that was a bit bizarre. Uh, the ending, well, I suppose it paves way for a second one, I don't really think it does. The storyline's not what you think it is, if that makes sense, so when you read this the storyline in... in in Amazon, it isn't exactly what it says. What does it sell you in? Uh, um, okay, there's one of the plots in IMDb tells you, but to be honest, don't bother. I, I, it was kind of exciting when you found out. You're like, oh hello, that's not what I was expecting. Um, so overall, like I said, the spiders were okay. They weren't ridiculous. So if you watch the Hive, which I've reviewed. There's a video in there. Uh, that's all about ants, and you can you can tell some of the ants, and all of a sudden they're just a lot like, um, well, nothing like them. But these do, they look like spiders. Uh, the story's okay. I understand the character stories, well, some of them anyway, not all of them. Some of them you just don't even know who they are. It's like, who's this person? The effects was okay. Like I say, it was a TV movie, so I wasn't expecting sort of smash its box office sort of standards. Um. I actually give it a 4, you know, it got a 3.6, so I, I'm giving it a 4, I think that's about as best I can really give it, um, yeah, yeah, anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed um, listening and watching this uh, this review of um, Into the Spider's Web, um, or In the Spider's Web, uh, please subscribe to my channel, I've got uh, quite a few other film reviews, uh, mostly horrors, but I am trying to branch out in some other things, I'm doing some sci-fi and... Um, what not but you know the budget ones usually are these kind of things because you know that's how they are or the low rated ones let me put it that way um like i say uh, my my channel is primarily a um, gaming channel i've just kind of branched out into films because somebody suggested it i had a go and i thought you know what i like this <laughs> i think i'll do them more often but i'm only releasing now and then um so if you like gaming please please watch all that lot there's plenty there for you if, if you if you want to watch any of it um, like I said, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment in the comment box below. Have you watched this film? Did you enjoy it? You know, is it something you would want to watch? I don't know. Or is it something you like me reviewing? Again, I don't, I, you know, each the one. Okay, thank you and goodbye.